Okay, I've configured the shadow mode at the client end to connect in active mode and on port 5500. And the shadow in this case is an, another Intel NUT which is set in VNC mode with SSL encryption on and dash listen in the command line arguments box. This desktop here will appear on that desk on the Intel nut. The screen at the client end changes to a brownie red colour to let the client end know that they're being shadowed. Okay this is the um, the um, administrator's end. So I'm using an Intel NUC here as the shadow device. So the desktop you can see here now is actually running on another NUC, the one I just showed you. So I can do everything you'd do on the other NUC remotely. So I can do any type of configuration, local configuration, with the configuration menu. I can launch um, different modes. Let's say uh, we want to uh, log into an RDP session. I've selected RDP, NLA's already pre selected. I click on save settings. Enter the IP address. So you can see this is um, server 2012 R2. So I'll just log out of that, sign out. I've finished my shadow session, so I, I reboot the client now by hitting reboot. And now I'm back to my standard screen waiting for the next shadow session. I can quit this, go back to configure. You can see how I've set VNC mode. I have SSL in security and in the command line arguments box I've got dash listen. That's all you need to do to use an Intel NUC or a repurposed PC as the shadowing device. If I wanted now go back to my normal desktop, I just click on Citrix, click on Save Settings, and this will launch my Citrix login. I want to log into Windows 7. So I've just switched from using an Intel NUC as a shadowing device to look at other desktops and now I've gone back to my, my normal desktop and that's how easy it is. Just a few seconds to log out or log in from your normal desktop to a mode where you can shadow another device. We also have a virtual machine which I'll show you now if I log out of this. The virtual machine um, is also used for shadowing desktops and we call it TLX ADM. If I click on this icon here, it'll launch the TLX ADM virtual machine and that's the desktop of the virtual machine. And you can see uh, TMS is showing the um, the NUC 32. Okay, I'll log out of that. So in the, in this mode, uh, if I choose to shadow someone's desktop, 
see the desktop appear on the screen here. So it's up to you uh, which mode you use for viewing um, an end user's desktop. The TLX ADM is useful because it has a two, it supports two modes, active and passive. In passive mode, you can actually SSH to the operating system TLX OS running on the end user's device for fine grain administration. So that's a useful thing to do for a lot of people. What I just demoed a minute ago is an easy way to view a remote desktop. Okay, so I'll just log out of that.